The Forspoken PS5 demo is getting some not great reviews. I think this is due to some short-sighted tendencies that we will address here. Join us for why the Forspoken PS5 demo has been crazy fun to me. It is NRO Daily. Let's get into this one. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K of the Hard Knock Digital Culture and PNTS Network back again with another NRO Daily. Can you do us a huge favor before we get into this one? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells so you know when we're dropping these videos. We appreciate all of y'all straight up. Okay, let's get right into this. All right, so I want to break this up into three parts in regards to the Forspoken PS5 demo and, and this calamity around it. I, I want to talk about the story, give you guys the backdrop. I want to talk about the reaction from the community. And lastly, give you my thoughts on all this. So first and foremost, Forspoken is the Square Enix Luminous project slotted for release January 24, 2023. The ads released along with it being advi advertised rather as a PlayStation 5 exclusive have excited many, including myself. Now, those ads that were put out for this game showed it or, or put it in the light of like more of a action game with RPG elements, you know what I mean? Something in the line of kind of with a derogative somewhat of God of War. Now keep that in mind, because that's gonna be a big basis of how we talk about this on the My Thoughts section. Um, but with that said, a lot of people's curiosities were piqued about this game. Again, because of the action uh, RPG element nature of it, the fact that it's a PlayStation 5 only and PC only uh, platform uh, uh, game. So it's not a backwards compact game from what I understand. If I'm wrong on that, please let me know in the comments section. And I think that had people like myself excited. That being said, our curiosity was cured the night of the gaming awards of 2022 when Jeff Keighley on stage announced that there would be a surprise demo available that night for Forsaken. And people like myself were also chomping at the bits to play it. Now, I didn't get an opportunity to jump on this thing immediately, had some things to do personally or whatever, and I didn't. It took me a couple of days before I could touch it, but I was very keen in paying attention to what people were saying about it in the community. And to my surprise and to my disappointment to a degree, uh, the reaction to this demo was lukewarm. People were not digging this thing across the board as I thought they um, But let's get into that reaction a little bit. All right, so the when I was listening and watching responses to this demo, not everybody, but a significant amount of people had three basic complaints. Um, the first complaint was that it looked washed, that the visuals did look washed and that the uh, the whites were too white, the blacks didn't look detailed enough and it just, it just didn't look great, all right? Um, the second complaint that I heard commonly was the voice acting was poor. It was cheesy, it was, it was uh, cringy, and all that other stuff. It wasn't the best voice acting. And honestly, I heard that before because I think it was like a trailer or something like that released on the game prior to where people were jumping on the, the voice acting. I had chalked it up to, to a lot of fanboy stuff because it, it seemed to be a lot of um, Xbox fanboys that were saying that about the, the, the game. I haven't heard it for myself, but I, I ignored that and, and went on about my business until I started hearing it more widely once this demo was released. Lastly, the, the, the third complaint, which I think is the biggest complaint and really is going to be the, the structure of focus here, is that the Speaking of structure, people have a problem with the way that the gameplay is structured. How it plays, the gameplay loop. That was the biggest complaint. So now on to my thought. Um, before I get to that last part, I will say that yes, the colors and stuff like that didn't seem like the greatest, right? The, 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 the color palette or whatever didn't seem like it was, the visuals were the best at the time. Um, also, the voice acting, it isn't the best, but to me, didn't mind it so much. Uh, I was more engrossed in the action. However, I will say this, to be fair, this is a demo. This reports that the demo can go as low as 720p if you're in performance mode, whatever. Like, I know this is a newer generation of gamers where you guys probably weren't that embedded in gaming in, in the 360 era where, when, when there were demos all over the place. Um, these aren't the final builds. And I get that you want the most real life representation of the game to help you buy it, but there should be this common understanding that this is not the final build. 
that you're giving a slither of the game, you're giving, you know, core mechanics of the game so you can have a better understanding, not so much a complete understanding, but a better understanding of what the game is. So you, you know, you know what you're getting yourself into basically. Um, but again, at the basic level, so even though I do agree of the two finer, but well, not necessarily the second point. I wasn't worried about the second point. I, I do believe that the visuals, you know, aren't the best. I don't think that's going to represent what you get out of them. Um, that being said, and, 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 and I have confidence in that because of the pedigree of PlayStation, where again, if you're marketing this as a PlayStation 5 game, this is reflective on them. There is no way that reps, and we've heard notorious stories of, of representatives going to second party developers or even third party developers hell sony sent 150 technicians or something like that for callisto protocol and look at the end result of that sony has a lot of pride when it comes to that type of stuff and for this to be what i believe and i could be wrong correct me if i'm wrong in the chat a playstation 5 specific demo i mean playstation 5 specific game opposite a pc they are not going to want a game that's built for the PlayStation 5 console and not the PlayStation 4 to look shabby, all right? If anything, they're gonna work with Square Enix to push the damn thing back. Because I would believe that because there's exclusive exclusivity that they would have helped fund the game, all right? That being said, I think the last part is important to go up. Here's why. I think it's the main reason why it's getting hit, the, the structure of the game, how you play. The problem is once again, we are subject to what I like to call the God of War syndrome. Now, what am I talking about? Bear with me, follow me here. After the release of the first God of War, and for full disclosure, I love God of War. It's the, that game helped change my mind on PlayStation games and really helped reform me from a former Xbox fanboy to a lover of the PlayStation console. So before you hear me break this down, understand I love God of War. I, I love the first game. I have the full playthrough of it here on this channel and I'm also playing the, the second one, and I'm even liking that even more just in the beginning of it. So I love God of War as a series, all right? That being said, I think that there is a syndrome that people are suffering from once they get a hold of such a great game. And it's not God of War's fault, but it's for us to better parse and put in the right buckets these games that after we deal with them. Now bear with me. After releasing the first God of War, non- melee uh, uh non-melee action games that did not have a similar approach got hit they got hit games that followed pretty much in the same branch of what god of war was doing saw success I'll give you examples the ones that saw success would be examples like spider-man and assassin's creed odyssey third person action games the cutscenes, and stories and all that other stuff right um, with with smooth melee, you know, involved in it, it's it's of the it's of very similar ilk. So anything of very similar ilk got a boost automatically. I'm not saying that Spider Man wasn't already a cool game. I think it was a cool game, and I know Spider Man is popular. Um, but I think God of War helped give it a boost. I'm not saying Assassin's Creed Odyssey wasn't a great game already. I think it was a great game, but normally Assassin's Creed, the more that it diverts from the atypical stealth kill type of game this is more actiony when it die when it diverges from that it gets hit more not this one again we're within the god of war syndrome era which tends to last a year right as you'll see examples of games good games that got stifled because of this god of war syndrome are games like days gone and dare i say even rage 2. now days gone is another playstation exclusive right but it's a third person shooting game you know a third person shooter it's not a action melee game it's, and it's not of the same ilk a lot of people say oh it's the same over the shoulder you know cinematography or whatever and that stuff may be similar but it's not of the same ilk as far as how the action was concerned and rpg elements and all the other stuff it was different it was more in the vein of a spin off some some sort of last of us type of thing right but again we're under the spell of God of War. We want we want a regurgitation of God of War everywhere we turn. And being that this game did not serve that, even though it, it, it started off slow, but it was still a very good game, it got hit. And likely, because of that syndrome taking its effect then, we likely won't see a sequel, which is 
which is sad. Another game, like I said, I dare to say, is Rage 2. Now, this one really baffled me because Rage 2, the third person shooter from Bethesda, and I think it was Machine, no, it, it Software. Rage 2, in every shape, form, or fashion, is a thousand times better than its predecessor. The original Rage game was horrific. However, for some reason, Rage 2 didn't score or didn't, it, it scored around the same that its predecessor did, which is egregious, which is, I think this underscores what I've been talking about as far as this God of War syndrome. Rage 2 was a very good game. I, I'm not saying it was a nine or anything like that, but it was a lot better than the way that it scored. The same with Days Gone. And because these were not of the same ilk, they got hit in their reception, unfortunately. And we probably won't see sequels from either of them, which is sad, because those were very good games. That being said, I, I truly think that the same is happening here with Forspoken. Here's why. After playing this demo, you quickly realize that Forspoken is not like God of War, is not the action game with RPG elements and, and the smoothest melee and, the, you know, chained melee and all that cinema, cinematography and stuff like that in, in, in the melee action. Forspoken is more of a traditional Final Fantasy, photorealistic slash Tales of Vesperia, you know, but a more photorealistic one, live action RPG. It is not an action melee game with RPG elements. Yes, melee combat may not be as smooth, you know, and, and, and have the cinematography of a God of War or anything else of the same ilk. However, that's not how the game is basing itself in, 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 its, in its game loop. The action is focused around really your choice of spell, your choice of equipment, and how successful you are in making those right choices or selections. And those selections have an impact on your battle score, which is atypical of the more Final Fantasy games, right? And that has an effect on your loot. That is classic RPG stuff. It just isn't turn-based. All right. And I do feel that the game was advertised in a way to where it looked like it wouldn't be of the same ilk of a God of War. Just, you know, slight, just, you know, more photorealistic aesthetics and all this other stuff. So that's why people got excited. I get that. And, and that is that that was probably not the best advertising. But once you do play the game and you realize what it is, it, I don't think it's a bad alternative. Here are my suggestions, because a lot of people that have been complaining, I've noticed that they haven't done this. Here's my suggestion. You want the smoothest gameplay. Again, trying to go with the graphic fidelity, you're not gonna get it because this demo is not optimized in order for you to get that. So just go for the smoothest gameplay possible, which is the performance mode, all right? So do that. And also, the game is defaulted at easy. Change that. I, I, I don't understand why games do this. They do this to their own detriment because gamers are lazy and they forget that and then they get mad. Oh, I don't want to go on the options and this game sucks and all, you know, but you're, you're going to have to just go click a couple of buttons in the game and change that difficulty to just up it. You know what I mean? Um, and get it off the of easy. I, I believe once you do that, you might end up just as charmed as I am in looking at this game at a different way, right? But that's it from your boy. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Are you enjoying Forspoken? Are you one of those people that are just trying to, I'm not getting it now. Let me know in the comment section below. Cause like we always say, here's what I think. But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. They'll lead you to the Broadband Bullies, uh, PNTS Network, Cloud Dosage, and here, the Hard Knock Digital Culture slash MM2K Gaming. With all that said, have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Oh, and before I go, I want to remind you, Check out our Discord. I'm gonna leave a link to it, our new Discord for PNTS Network. For if you become a member, either through Patreon, through um, you know, a Cloud Doses platform or Hard Knock Digital Culture, if you subscribe over on Twitch, you get special access to videos like these early, right? With that said, peace and have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day.